Welcome back everyone. We are so excited. We're about a week away for going on our first cruise on the Wish, on the Disney Wish. And so we're packing. We feel like we're getting better at packing since this is gonna be our fifth Disney cruise. So we're gonna show you what we're bringing, show you our new luggage, and we're excited to get started. I actually, I think have almost everything ready to go here. You're more ready than I am. I know that is extremely unusual. And I think it's just because I feel very pressed for time. We've got a lot going on. So I was like, okay, today's the day to pack. Our plane to Atlanta is leaving next Friday. And today as we're filming this, it's Saturday. So yeah, we're less than a week away. And I'm trying, I say this every single time, but I'm trying really hard to pack light. And I, I think I've got it this time. Although we'll see once it actually gets in the luggage. So I'm just gonna tell you about a few of the things I'm bringing. I have this hat. I'm bringing the hat because we're going to Nassau. We're going on like a catamaran and I saw some vlogs where people were wearing hats and I thought that might be helpful. So I'm bringing a hat. To be packed and checked, we have bug spray, sunscreen, all that kind of stuff. Gotta make sure to have that in a checked bag. I feel like every time I come home though, I have it in my carry-on and it always gets taken from me at, at um, the security check. Binoculars, because I'm just looking forward to sitting on our balcony and looking at the ocean, one of my favorite things to do, and maybe I'll see some sea creatures. That's my hope. I have a stack of bathing suits. This is actually, I'm going light on the bathing suits, although this is still probably more than I need, um, because I, I feel like I always pack way too many bathing suits and I don't use them all, but I don't really go in the pool much. But I know we're gonna be at the beach at Castaway at Nassau and hopefully maybe at the pool one. So I have several bathing suits. One of them is like a long sleeve um, cover up for the sun. I think I might thought wear, wear that on the way to Nassau. So I have lots of Disney shirts, uh, just casual hangout. You know, I'm gonna wear shorts and t-shirts a lot. T-shirts, not fancy shirts. I, I don't have very many. Chris thinks my clothes are fancy when they're not t-shirts. <laughs> so this one, I'm excited to remember to bring it this time on this Halloween on the High Seas Cruise. I got it on Etsy. I'll put this one in the description um, because I wore it before in, in a video and a lot of people were asking where I got it. So that will be in the description. I have my costume here for Halloween on the High Seas. I think I might wait to show that to you until we're on the ship. I mean, I don't You're know. You're gonna look cute in it. I, I had an idea though to make it a little more fun. I think so. that I think your idea is good. Yeah, thanks. So um, we'll 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 show you that when we're on the ship. And then I have like linen shorts and and casual shirts that are not t-shirts that I'll probably wear to dinner, because I I just don't really feel like wearing dresses. Um, I'm packing one dress that we're going to a wedding before this cruise. I'm going to wear it to the wedding, and then I think I'll wear it to Paulo. Um, besides that, I just really want to relax on the cruise. So I'm not going to get dressed up. I'm just going to wear my shorts and, you know, like this shirt is, is kind of, you know, it's got little ruffles on it. So it, that's a fancy shirt. Chris would call this fancy, but just more like shirts and nicer shorts. I know a lot of people love to get dressed up. I just, I just want to relax. We got this cooler bag when we were going on an excursion. Um, on one of our cruises and I'm bringing it again. I want to bring it when we go to Nassau I want to make sure to fill it with bottled water. That's nice and cold um, And maybe some prepackaged snacks. I know that you can get um, Like you can order from room service like Uncrustables and if it's prepackaged you can take it off the ship so I'm gonna bring this for that um, I Just thought of another tip that I have been wanting to say in the last few videos and I keep forgetting and and it's kind of about this uh, this Etsy shirt that I just showed you. Basically, I feel like every single cruise, we're like a, a week or two away and all of a sudden we think, oh, like we were thinking, oh, we need Halloween costumes. Like, why did we just think of this now? So my tip right now is think about the kind of things you need to order ahead of time at least a month out. On the last cruise, we wanted to get St. Patrick's Day shirts. We did not think of this until two weeks before the cruise. I know a lot of people are more prepared than we are. Anyway, just give yourself lots of time for things that need to be delivered, especially if it's not from Amazon, if it's from someplace else, if it's from Etsy. You don't want to have to pay extra on shipping. So I, in my mind, I was thinking we're not ordering a lot of extra stuff this time, but there have been a few things uh, in the last few days that we've ended up ordering and we had to rush shipping on a few. So. That's kind of annoying. I did a good job. I ordered a few new magnets for the door and I did that like two weeks ago. Good job, good job. I'm patting myself on the back, but you can't see it. Yes, he is. Um, I like to have a few drawstring bags to just carry things around with. 
We have a bunch of these. They're on a hanger still. Oh my still. goodness. Uh, we're probably not going to bring all of them. I just And we're not going to get any more. No. I just brought them up in our room because um, I wanted to remember, you know, when I see things around like, oh, we might want to bring that. I just put it in our room when I'm getting ready we'll to pack. We'll probably bring a couple of those. Yeah. Um, some other things we have, this is kind of a two-in-one right here. We got these um, trick-or-treat bags from the dollar store. And we also have Halloween decorations for our room from the dollar store. So lots of fun stuff you can get really cheap at the dollar store. I also have... Um, candy and snacks that's gonna be heavy in the that bag. is gonna be heavy but it's nice to have candy for the kids to just bring to the movies or the theater so they don't have to spend a bunch of money on that um, we give them each like a budget each day and it's nice to just get cheap candy ahead of time so they don't have to spend their money on that one more thing i don't know where it went but i have thank you cards i like to write thank you cards to our um our servers and our host and Okay, that's another thing I'll say. I already packed our passports. I put it in my carry-on bag already, and then I have a bunch of cash in here too. I pack passports first because we don't want to forget passports. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit really briefly about what, how we do tipping because I see that question all the time. Um, we prepay our tips, so that kind of goes into our budget way ahead of time, so we're prepared for that. Um, Disney gives you little envelopes with like a kind of like a ticket for the the tip you've already paid for I we always add more to that um, usually we do cash but if we've run out for some reason um, you can actually go to guest services and add extra tips to all of the people that you want to add tips to but it's also good to have cash for places like NASA for tips for like the Porter when you get to the cruise and you want to um, they take your suitcase for you when you get off the cruise if you if you use a porter and you tip them you actually kind of get to cut in line um so i'm remembering i saw people doing that last time and i was like oh we should have done that also for buying stuff in nassau we need it's good to have cash um and then also just so you know almost everyone else on the ship you can get like if if you're buying a drink from the bar they add gratuity but you can always add another dollar or two room service you can add um almost always you can add to your ticket there's a couple times you can't so it's good to have some cash just in case they do recommend a dollar per item for room service so just being prepared you're going to want to tip we're going to want to tip um the service is so amazing and we just want to show our thanks that way i think that's all i wanted to show you and now it's chris's turn i've got one sweatshirt and it's my disneyland sweatshirt i'm also bringing a couple of polo shirts for maybe even just one. Eh, no, I'll probably bring two because I need to wear two different shirts two different times. One to the wedding and one to Paulo because we did book brunch at Paulo, so we're excited about that. I got all my Disney shirts and I probably have too many, so I need to pare this down a little bit. I've got a few other regular shirts uh, for when we're not on the ship and maybe for the ship. Uh, I got shorts and I've got uh, shorts, some shorts. Uh, the shorts I tend to wear are these like hybrid shorts, which are great for just walking around in, but you, they're also made to get wet and to go in the pool. So they're perfect for that. And I also have uh, just a couple pairs of pants for Paulo for the wedding and like just in case it's cool at night. There's always the just in cases that I pack for all those situations and that I typically regret once we're there. I don't know. What do you think about that? I was just thinking, I feel like one way I have pared down what I'm bringing is shoes. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's my biggest, like it takes up a ton of room and I'm never sure like what shoes do I need? So this year is the first time I'm not bringing running shoes because I've never used them. I always think, oh, maybe I'll go to the gym. Nope, that never happens. Um, so I only have flip flops, Crocs, and the nice shoes I'm going to wear to wedding, the wedding and Polo. So very versatile flip-flops. Probably going to do the same. I'm probably going to bring a pair of shoes to wear the wedding to Polo and then a couple of pairs of flip-flops. Uh, I've also got a few swim shirts. I don't know if I need two or three of these. I want at least two. And I have this little case here, which has my Apple Watch bands in it. Sometimes I just like to have a different watch band, depending on the situation. And I have my hat box. Uh, I thank my friend Adam for this. He's the one who uh, showed this uh, to me first. And I love it. It's uh, from a company called Melon. I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks on their website, but I think I have five hats in here. 
That's love a lot it. of hats. It's a lot of four hats. Did I say five? It keeps them nice and safe in the luggage. They don't get crushed, which I like. And sometimes I find a way to put other things in there as well, small things. What about our cruise bag? Can we look at our cruise oh, bag? Yeah. This is stuff we keep in this bag since we are now like habitual cruisers. Yeah, and I showed this in another vlog, um, but I have our magnets for our door, stateroom door. I have a bunch of other things like our luggage tags and our hamper in here. And these are all things we always bring on a cruise with us. Earplugs. The hamper is so helpful. I love putting that in the closet so we could just all put our dirty clothes in there. I got these this year uh, for to wear on our necks for our phones if we want to bring them with us. Like if we're going on Castaway and we just want to have our phone with us, but we don't want to have to like deal with it getting wet or we you know we just you don't, don't want to leave it on the lounge chair you don't want to leave it on the lounge yeah. chair this way you can go in here you can still take pictures because it's clear and these were super cheap like i think we got we got like two dollars two of these for seven dollars yeah on amazon i remember Such we really find. wished we had those when we were at great wolf lodge oh gosh, and they were yeah. selling them there for like 20 bucks each and sometimes water parks won't let you bring a like gopro like on the water slide with you but they'll let you bring a phone as long as it's around your neck uh, so these are nice to have and they're pretty cheap. These are the coffee cards and that we have in some of our old Keeler World Card holders, but we're bringing these with us because hopefully we can use these on the ship. Just a bunch of other stuff. If I went through this, this video would be way too long. Yeah, I thought I would mention, we are just showing what we're bringing um, our girls. They don't feel like uh, talking about their packing right now. So, you know, it's hard enough to pack, much less like have us stick the camera in their face while they're doing it. So, yeah. um, you'll see what they have when you see us on the cruise together. Yep. We're really excited to show you this luggage that we got. Uh, we've been using the same luggage uh, that we got, gosh, we got it back in 2020, I think and it's been really good, but it's gotten pretty scratched up. Carrie's actually got banged up one time and got dented pretty bad. We've been wanting to try new luggage, and recently a company called Level 8 Cases reached out to us and asked us if we would like to work with them. They would send us their luggage, a few pieces of their luggage, we would try it, and really in the process of using it, be honest with you guys as to how much we like it or not, uh, but either way, so far, uh, we've looked at it a little bit and it looks really nice. Can't wait to show it to you guys. <laughs> Check this color out. They have this one color they, they now have available on their website that Carrie really wanted. It was like a, like a navy, like a kind of a sleep blue with like a lighter blue and it looked really cool. They just didn't have it ready yet because it's really new. So they sent us this one and it's like a yellow and a black. And this is, I believe, called the Voyager. I like it. I think one of the things I like about it too is that um, it's not going to be hard to identify <laughs> when it comes out of the um, carousel. Here's another thing is usually these handles are narrow. They go like in the, right in the middle. Yeah, that's true. I love how they're wide because it makes it super easy to like move around and stuff. I just am really excited to use it on this trip. So is that one mine? This one's yours. Oh, okay. I, could, I, I couldn't remember which color I picked. And just a couple of quick features about this uh, luggage. It has a built-in TSA lock, which is handy. I uh, don't always use those, to be honest. This has like a separator right here, which they actually have a wet bag built in. It's plastic on both sides and lined. If you got white clothes, put them right in here. Get them out when you get home. That's a really cool feature, actually. And then this uh, is a strap to just kind of tighten down whatever you put in here. Another thing I love about that handle that's really wide is usually the handles create like a channel in the middle yeah. here that make it not flat. Here, there's it's on the edges, so you have a whole bottom here that's flat. That's nice. really, really nice. I love that. Another separator here. This side is deeper than this one, but you still get a lot of room. now. Right here in the middle is a handle. Keep in mind, it creates a bump in the middle here. So when you are putting your stuff in, plan around that because it's gonna be a little bit of an obstruction. That's the luggage, it's really simple, but check out how like wide that is. Yeah. It's tall, it's, it's big, this is a 28 inch. It's the biggest one they make. Uh, it's textured, so that's nice. It's one thing to keep in mind, it does not expand. I'm excited to use these and I, I'm a little bit nervous. I told Carrie this a couple days ago. I'm a little bit nervous that it feels a little like taller this way, putting it under the bed on the cruise ship. Oh yeah. I'm a little bit nervous that it's a little too tall because usually our suitcases are a little wider than this and not as tall. So which color did you get? I'll show you. 
Just like magic, I got it out like that. I'm just kidding. So this, I got the same one that Carrie got, except this one's more like a navy blue. Carrie's is gonna be easier to spot off the conveyor luggage belt. Same exact piece, uh, just a different color. One really cool feature about this luggage, uh, the inside of the bigger pocket, there is a shelf here and it's connected with these straps and it just, it sits here. So when you stand it up, you have this shelf here that can keep your stuff separated. It can just fall right back down and be out of the way if you don't want it up. I, I kind of like that to keep things separated. It's really nice. Another thing, all the handles have a really nice uh, ability to just kind of pull up when you grab on them and they push right back down uh, when you're not using them. So all three handles do that around the whole luggage set. The wheels are really nice. They spin really easily. And that's one of the features actually I've heard people say they love a lot about this. And I'm excited to use this in an airport. It moves really, really well from all the reviews I've seen. But yeah, it's a spinner, so it's got four wheels. So it just spins 360 like that. You can also pull it like that if you need to. We want to mention that they provided this. Like, we didn't pay for these. We really, really want to give you guys our honest feedback about what we think about this luggage. And we're going to be able to do that a little bit in this video because a week from now, we're going to be actually heading to Orlando. And we're going to end the video there. We'll actually be able to tell you at that point how the luggage has been working out for us up till then. And we'll continue to let you guys know about, you know, what our feedback is to you about the luggage because we don't want to recommend something to you if we actually don't love it. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we really, really enjoy using this luggage. First, I want to say I see one more thing that you did not mention that you're packing. And I hope you don't forget it, but it's hanging on our closet door. I got this at D23 last year uh, when I was at Disneyland during Halloween, and it's a glow-in-the-dark Halloween Disney Mickey pumpkin dinner coat, jacket, whatever, and it's got a light-up tie. You know what? Super awesome. That's what? fancy. It's fancy. <laughs> One more thing about the luggage. Ooh, I like how it, like, it's like a hanger. Oh, um, it's so versatile. I know. All the features. <laughs> If you really want to check it out yourself, uh, there'll be a link in the description of this video and use that link and that will take you directly to Level 8's website uh, to this piece of luggage, the Voyager 28 check-in luggage. There's a 10% discount code that we're also going to put in the description of the video. I think it'll be on the screen right here. It's Adventures in Middle Land 10. Hopefully, if that's something you want to try out, if you want to check out this luggage, use that link, use that code to get a discount, and let us know if you get it and what you think of it yourself. I wanted to show you guys uh, just my vlogging equipment and camera equipment that I'm bringing as well. I know some of you guys watch our channel, comment about editing, ask about what camera uh, we use. So I'm going to show some of the stuff that I bring with me on a trip whenever we're doing vlogs. These are a few uh, USB power banks. Uh, from Anchor that I have. This one I actually use for my laptop. It works really, really well. It will charge it up at least one whole time. So on a longer flight, if I don't have anything to plug my laptop into, that works really, really well. It's a beast. <laughs> it lasts a long time. I think I will charge my phone like three or four times, but I'll charge my laptop once. This is another one I just got uh, more recently, and this is great. It's super lightweight. It's great to have if I want to charge my phone and I need to do that in the middle of the day. I got some uh, Beats studio i think studio headphones studio three headphones these things are great they're uh wireless they connect to my laptop uh, with bluetooth and they also offer noise cancellation so i love these they fold down to a good size this right here is the dji mic uh, we've had this gosh we got this last summer i think or last year at some point and we've used this quite a bit in different videos and different settings usually when you open this up everything turns on there it goes you see the uh, two uh, mics which is one's right here and the other one's right there this right here is the receiver this is what 
plugs into your phone. As I'm filming this, uh, early tomorrow morning, I'm waking up to order my new iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it's coming with a USB-C plug. So I love that this is already here. I already have a USB-C plug right there. I can plug it right into the bottom of that right here, and then I connect this uh, mic, and it has two mics. So both Carrie and I can have one, or the girls can have one on if we need it for a certain situation. Just love, love, love this uh, mic set. It's an amazing tool to have. All right, now I took the lenses out of their pouches to show you what uh, they are, but this is a Sony uh, G lens that I use for uh, just if I'm doing zoom shots or if I'm doing video that, that requires a little more of a zoom. Uh, this is a 18 to 105 zoom range uh, lens. This is a Sigma lens. This is what I typically use for low light shots. So at nighttime, most lenses don't have good low light uh, capabilities. It also has amazing bokeh as well, which if you see the shots where the subject matter is really sharp and in focus and the background is blurry, uh, those are just some great pro looking shots. That's what this kind of lens offers as well. So nerdy stuff about cameras, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> But this is most of all the equipment uh, that I'm bringing, and now I'm just going to throw it in my backpack so we're ready to take it on the road. And this right here is what holds it all while I travel. This is my Peak Design uh, backpack. I think it's called the Everyday Zip, but it is such a great backpack. So this is pretty much all of my vlogging stuff. Uh, there's a few things I put in the main luggage, uh, like the GoPro and a few other things like that. I think packing makes it feel pretty real. We're gonna yeah. be leaving in a week. Of course, you're gonna see us in like, you know, a minute as if we're already there. But for us, we still have a week. I just wanted to say, as far as the luggage, um, I know when you got that offer, we talked about it a lot. You were a little bit hesitant, we were hesitant because we don't want to be salespeople. You know, we only wanna share our experience, but- yeah. The, the chance to get some really great luggage for free and then just give you our honest opinion, we like really made sure. We can tell them if we don't like it, right? So we'll be sure to tell you what we think of the luggage. We still have, you know, six more days until we get to leave, but you're gonna see yeah. us in just a few seconds. Welcome to Florida, <laughs> where we are in Orlando, staying with friends. Uh, and this, actually, this morning we're going on the Wish. But we want to end our packing video with a little bit of travel. You guys saw some of our travel already. We did a lot in the last three days. Yeah, we've been to three states. We flew into Atlanta. We stayed at uh, Spring Hill Suites. Next morning, I woke up and we woke up, but I went to go get our car rental, and it was a minivan. I've always been kind of anti minivan, but it was very, very nice and convenient. Yeah. I'm still not going to get one for a home, but it's nice for traveling with a minivan. It was nice. The price was great. We took that and went on a mini road trip all the way up to Cleveland, Tennessee. But we met friends for breakfast in oh, Georgia yeah. and we went to Cracker Barrel. Yeah. That was a lot of fun on too. On our way to the wedding. Yeah. Yes. That was so fun. We actually know a lot of people I in know. this area. Orlando, I know. Atlanta, Tennessee. We a lot of Californians have moved, <laughs> moved down they here, have. as you probably know. Yep. The road trip on the way up was amazing. So beautiful. So green. And I mean, we saw tons of churches. We started counting. Oh my gosh. We We're saw like, more than like 40 churches. After we got off the road, off the highway, yeah. we took a kind of a, a back road expressway, mm -hmm. uh, but through a bunch of different towns and communities and country that was just incredible we're pretty sure we saw more churches than dollar generals but there it was right up there the dollar generals yeah. there's like at least 20 something dollar generals then after that we ended up in tennessee and we stayed at a small little hotel there uh, for a wedding we were going to a family wedding and that was a lot of fun it was at an incredibly beautiful venue it was outdoors it had fun dancing mm -hmm. had fun just uh, the at the end of the night they did a fun sparkler send off Carrie and I danced a little bit. He had fun at the wedding. Driving back uh, from Tennessee back to Georgia to get to the airport to get to Orlando. On the way, we made a pit stop at Bucky's. We actually have a vlog we did just for Bucky's yeah. because it was so incredible. Our friend uh, Michaela yeah. uh, gave us all the deets that we needed to know about Bucky's, yeah. and that was that was so much fun. We had a great time at Bucky's. Yeah. After Bucky's, we ended up at the airport, returned the rental car, 
got on the plane and came straight to Orlando where we got another rental car that we're going to actually have for the whole week. And we've never done that before. We've never rented a car here in Orlando. And we're going to park it at the uh, parking lot at the port. After we landed last night and got our rental car, we went to Disney Springs to hang out with more friends, the friends who are actually uh, letting us stay with them uh, last night. And we went to Paddlefish for yeah. dinner. We were there for a very long time. It was good. It took a little bit longer than we were hoping, yeah. but we had a great time. We did. And then we went to Gideon's, yeah. which was really fun. We got there right before the close, so there's only a 10 minute wait. Yep. Had some cake and cookies and some leftover of that for breakfast this morning. Oh, and the best thing ever, Heather had this idea. Um, we're staying with her. Trevor and Heather, Trevor friends of ours. Heather, and she said sometimes she goes and she gets a cold brew with no ice, puts it in the fridge and drinks yeah. it in the morning. We just had peanut butter cold brew. Oh my gosh. I haven't had mine yet. I was going to save it for the uh, trip to the port. Well, I had mine and it was amazing. Yeah, we had uh, carrot cake from Gideon's for breakfast. Yeah. All right, well, that does it for this video. Uh, oh, one more thing to mention, our luggage. Oh, yeah. It held up, it's held up really good so far. We've traveled through three airports so far, and yeah, it's done a great job. Uh, one little thing with carries, because it's yellow on the front, it has there's gotten... Lo there's lots of scuff marks on it. Yeah, but I think you said that you could probably take a magic eraser to it. That's what I'm going to try. But since we've gone to three places, I mean, we've stayed at two hotels, and now we've stayed here, it's like we've opened and closed, gotten all our stuff out, I feel like it's really functional and great. It's super handy. I, I again, we mentioned it uh, earlier in this video when we showed you guys the luggage, but the that that wide handlebar. Yeah. Such like it's a game changer. Like I love that. Yesterday at the airport, I had yours and mine because you were getting the rental car, and it was so easy to push both of them. Well, Alyssa's here. She wants to show you her lizard friend. Super small. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've been hunting lizards all well, not all morning, but you're out here swimming. Yeah, I was. And you're spying on all the lizards. Yep. Or they're spying on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for watching this video and coming along with us on our packing and our trip here to Orlando. We're getting on the wish today. We're so excited. Yeah, and we are literally about to get in our rental car and head to the port right now. We're going to see the wish in probably about an hour and a half. You guys are going to see it, well, in a week from now. <laughs> when we board the wish for our embarkation day video. Again, thank you guys for being here. Thanks for watching. We love you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified as we come out with a lot of Disney Cruise content on the wish really soon. So take care. Have a great week. We'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Bye.